Hi, I'm Jason Collins. This video is about the reflection effect. The reflection effect involves an asymmetry in risk preferences in the gain and loss domains. When people make a risky choice related to gains, they are risk averse. They prefer a certain option with lower expected value than the expected value of the risky choice. When choosing an option in the loss domain, they become risk seeking. This phenomenon is called the reflection effect. The reflection effect might also be thought of as diminishing sensitivity to gains or losses in either direction. This contrasts with expected utility theory, where the pain of losses increase as they grow in size. The reflection effect explains the framing effects in the following experiment by Kahneman and Tversky. One group of experimental subjects were asked the following hypothetical question that would be unlikely to be asked post COVID-19. Imagine that the US is preparing for an outbreak of an unusual Asian disease, which is expected to kill 600 people. Two alternative programs to combat the disease have been proposed. Assume that the exact scientific estimates of the consequences of the programs are as follows. If program A is adopted, 200 people will be saved. If program B is adopted, there is a one third probability that 600 people will be saved and a two thirds probability that no people will be saved. Which of the two programs would you favor? 72% of the participants chose option A. Another group of experimental participants were shown the following. Imagine that the US is preparing for an outbreak of an unusual Asian disease, which is expected to kill 600 people. Two alternative programs to combat the disease have been proposed. Assume that the exact scientific estimates of the consequences of the program are as follows. If option C is adopted, 400 people will die. If program D is adopted, there is a one third probability that nobody will die and a two thirds probability that 600 people will die. Which of the two programs would you favor? 22% of participants chose option C. 22% of participants chose option C and 72% of participants chose option A. Yet these two are equivalent. Option A and option B are in the gain domain. Therefore, the less risky option A is preferred. Option C and D are in the loss domain. Therefore, the more risky option C is preferred. The following value function is an example of a function where there is diminishing sensitivity to both gains and losses. This function can generate the reflection effect. The value of x is equal to x to the half, where x is greater than or equal to zero, and the value of x is equal to minus negative x to the half, where x is less than zero. As x increases in magnitude in either direction, the marginal increase in value from each incremental unit of x decreases. The result of this value function is risk averse behavior in the gain domain and risk seeking behavior in the loss domain. This plot shows the diminishing effect in each direction. In the gain domain, the function is convex, indicating risk aversion. In the loss domain, the concave function indicates risk seeking behavior. The following numerical example illustrates further. Suppose an agent with the above value function is offered a choice between $10 for certain and a 50-50 bet to win $20 or end up with nothing. The value of each choice is as follows. The value of certainty is equal to the value of 10, which equals 10 to the power of a half, which equals 3.16. The value of the bet is equal to 0.5 times the value of 20 plus 0.5 times the value of zero, which is equal to 0.5 times 20 to the half plus 0.5 times zero, which equals 2.24. The $10 for certain has a higher value for the agent. This agent is risk averse in the gain domain and therefore prefers an amount for certain over a bet with the same expected value. Suppose the agent is now offered another choice. They can now have a certain loss of $10 or a 50-50 bet to lose $20 or to lose nothing. The value of each choice is as follows. The value of certainty is the value of minus 10, which equals minus 10 to the half, which equals minus 3.16. The value of the bet is equal to 0.5 times the value of minus 20, 
plus 0 0.5 times the value of zero, which in turn is equal to zero minus 0 0.5 times 20 to the half plus 0 0.5 times zero, which equals minus 2.24. This The bet delivers higher value than the certain loss, despite the bet and the certain loss having the same expected value. The agent is willing to take a risk to avoid a loss. They are risk seeking in the loss domain. <laughs>